Hello, this is channel layerace.com and today I will show you how to quickly create this abstract magic Christmas tree inside Adobe After Effects and I'm not going to be using any third party plugins so let's go ahead and make our composition okay first of all I want to make a null object this will be position and now let's select pen tool and draw a some lines like this Ctrl Z to go back. I'm holding Shift key to drag a straight handle like this. So first you have to click, then hold Shift key and drag it like this. Okay. Let's just quickly draw some lines something similar which looks like a christmas tree doesn't it has to be doesn't have to be perfect from the first time and okay now we can adjust adjust the lines also go ahead and let's make thickness of stroke width one and let's go ahead and make full resolution. Okay. Now adjust these handles until you get a nice shape of a tree. Let's make it smaller a bit. Okay, looks something like a tree. Okay, this will be good. Now let's go into our shape layer and into contents shape and open up path. Select a path, select this item and hit Ctrl C to copy and go into position. Remember your current time indicator should be at the start of your timeline. So go to, into position and select position and Ctrl V to paste and here we go we have a motion for our position and okay now what we can do with this layer we can pre-compose it actually first let's increase stroke width to 20 again and let's pre-compose this and let's call this emit emitter okay this will be our emitter now search for cc particle systems to drop on our emitter 
now let's go into the producer and let's change radius X to 60 and radius I to 60 go into particle click on source alpha inheritance so now particles are emitting only from from the stroke lines that we just draw okay let's change to faded sphere let's change perf size to 0 0.03 and depth size same let's increase birth rate to 100 okay now let's change color something like this and def color let's leave it red size variation 50 okay let's go into physics and go into velocity and change velocity to 0 0.1 change gravity to 0 0.05 let's make resistance 30 maybe 40 okay now let's make some more adjustments let's make 20 for direction and let's select our resistance and alt click on stopwatch and let's type google 50 and 20 so this will give some randomness to our particle of motion again stop click st on stopwatch near velocity and do the same wiggle and let's type 50 and 0 0.05 maybe yes okay okay now let's open up our position keyframes select position solid and hit u and go into the last keyframe and select your emitter and hit birth rate stopwatch and go by back one frame in your timeline to go back just press page up on keyboard and enter zero select the meter hit u to open up you can zoom in in the timeline by pressing plus as you can see we have zero and here we have 100 frames emitting so here the particles are starting to emit okay now select emitter and select CC particle systems and hit ctrl C to copy and create new solid particles and paste in now hit u delete keyframes and enter birth rate 4 go into producer radius x 0 0.1 and radius y 0 0.1 maybe even less 0 0.0 Let's make 0 0.01 and 0 0.01 also. Okay. Okay. 
on Jerry. Let's make three maybe. Now go into select your solid, go into the settings of the particle systems, so open a producer and select pick whip tool and drag it to a position of a position null object right here. Okay. So right here click on stopwatch near birth rate. Go back in timeline one frame pay by pressing page up and open up keyframes and add new keyframe by pressing this small icon. Now go to a next keyframe and enter zero. Also let's increase birth rate like this. Okay. Random C10 maybe. Particle K. Now also let's select particles and open up physics for gravity. Let's alt click stopwatch and also type in wiggle 50 0 0.03 and copy this and do the same on the emitter physics alt clicks stopwatch near gravity and paste okay now let's add new adjustment layer and search for glow and drag and drop a glow effect let's change to 20 duplicate glow let's maybe choose 0 0.5 actually no 0 0.5 for a second one and control d to duplicate again Okay, let's leave it 0 0.5. There we go. Here we have some glowing particles. Now let's select our emitter and hit Ctrl D to duplicate and search for CC cross blur drag on your just copied emitter and radius x let's make 30 okay, maybe 30 much let's make 20 and duplicate and radius x type 0 and to type 20 for radius y and okay let's go maybe this is too much. Open up keyframes, U, and select the birth rate keyframe, and let's change to 40 maybe. Okay. And that's it for this quick tutorial on how to make abstract magic Christmas tree in Adobe After Effects. Yeah, you will be able to find a link in the video description where you can download the project file. And thank you for watching and goodbye.